Hey, what's up guys? I've been meaning to make this video for a long, long time and it's basically on quality versus quantity. Do you have to have that 720p or that 1080p luxurious look or does the quality matter as much as the content? Because I always hear people talk about all the time in their videos or just in vlogs or in the comments, what camera do you use? What camera you use in the vlogging? And a lot of times, to be honest with you guys, a lot of iPod touches or um, digital cameras or they use uh, cameras such as uh, these like a Kodak to shoot really good uh, 720p at 60 frames per second. And um, if you guys don't know what 60 frames, 30 frames per second means, I had no idea when I first started uh, making YouTube videos and I was like, 60 frames per second, 20 seconds. I, I usually, like, no, okay, it's, 24 frames per second to 30 frames per second is what usually what legit Hollywood movies make in. And usually, like, um, your iPod touch like this shoots in at 30 frames per second, so it's a high quality um, video. If you're looking into shooting, like, a lot of slow motion type uh, videos, you're going to want 60 frames per second because the higher the frame rate, the more. Um, Pixels can actually make your video slow down and make it more luxurious so because if you take like say like a Blackberry video or a regular cell phone camera video and you slow it down You can see it get very grainy and never do what I see a lot of people do they'll record a regular like Standard definition video and then they upload it to YouTube in 720p or 1080p and try to fool people it's like no wonder why your video looks so grainy and so dirty and so uh messed up because a lot of people say well it's, uh, my video editor allows it to be 720p technically the video quality on youtube is saying it's 720p when it's really only 480p don't ever do that because um it will make your video look very shitty and very just dirty and grimy and, um, I mean, if you're looking into making a video like that, yes. And one thing I hate, a widescreen video, and then shrink the file size down, and then, because it's a full screen video, it shrinks it down to this little, uh, four by three little box, and you have little bar black bars on both sides. That's not, that's not smart. Just, uh, if you're just not video editing whatsoever, just upload the raw video to YouTube. That's all you have to do. But a lot of times I'll say this. You have to use a video software, even if it's iMovie or even if it's this Windows Movie Maker. Because you're going to have those, um, uh, and you want to take those out. But does the quality really matter? To be honest, you can use a, a full screen 480p, which is standard definition video. As long as the content is really good. I honestly think the quality of your video does not matter. It's a it's a content because you can have the most luxurious 1080p DSLR on the market and if your content is not that great, your video is not going to look luxurious. I honestly think it's the content that makes the video because I could be using the most busiest camera out there, but if my quality sucks, no one wants to watch it, even if it's a 380p video. People would rather watch a 380p video if the content is good enough. The point out is, use a tripod if you have one, or use a um, X-Shot camera extender like this to actually steady your video because you can use this as like a kind of like a tripod because you can stand it straight up like this and have it down and just hold it. And it'll keep your video steady because no one wants to watch a video where you're like shaggy because a lot of times when you use like an iPod touch for video, or, um, just using an iPod, it's very shaky because the uh, image stabilization is not all that great on like a, a mobile device like a cell phone. And um, like I said, you can actually hook this up to a tripod. And to be honest, you can get a tripod for anywhere from 30, 40, 50 bucks. A tripod is what will help your video quality look nicer. Um, you can actually get these uh, mini tripods. Let me see if I can find mine. Okay, here's what I found. My mini tripod. This one I got for like 10 bucks. And you can sit it on your desk and hold and put like your uh, digital camera like like this up on, on the tripod on your on your um, on your desk and be able to film yourself because a lot of people they try to put their camera on like a box or something and their camera is like kind of angled and it's not nice to look at so um that's another thing to use 
you need to steady your video because even if you have the most steadiest hands, like you're, you think you're like holding the camera like this and you're panning. A lot of times when I've actually done uh, a lot of videoing and panning and doing like this, because eventually when you get over here and you're turning, you're going to kind of jerk and your video is going to go. And you can use uh, software, a program called Smooth Camera. Basically, it allows, it basically smooths out the uh, shakiness. I've never personally used it, but um, I heard a lot of actual filmmakers use it because if they're doing it with their hand, it'll fix the thing. But never, one thing, never ever use the uh, program on YouTube that says they'll fix your, your uh, shakiness. Uh, Lam Brandy here on YouTube did it, and she said it messed her video, made her video worse and more choppy. So don't don't use the YouTube video editor. It's very limited. Uh, like I said, use um, iMovie if you can. Use Windows Movie Maker. Those they're very basic, but eventually use them over and over. You'll get somewhat decent, and you don't need if you're just vlogging all the time a high video editor like. Final Cut Pro or Sony Vegas. I mean, if you're into making skits and using a little bit of uh, special effects like slowing down, speeding up, uh, time lapsing, yes, you're going to want like a Sony Vegas uh, Pro 11. You're going to want Final Cut Pro. And Final Cut Pro is only on a Mac, which kind of sucks because it's a very useful. It's, I think it's more easier to use than using like a Sony Vegas or a. Uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. That's just my opinion. And if you're really into filmmaking, you're going to be using Final Cut Pro because that's what the uh, big uh, businesses use. And Apple is what people use in the industry for making videos. So in the end, does the quality of your videos actually matter? Like I said, the quality is really, uh, and, and to me anyway, I would rather have better um, quality equipment than I have right now. I'm still looking into getting a um, Rode video mic for my camera. The camera uh, audio is decently good audio. Your iPod touched is decently good audio. Um, but the quantity of the video, what the quality, like what the content is, is more important to to me, the viewers. And to be honest, I'm and and you need a lot of lighting if you're going to be doing indoors. Lighting is a must. You can buy, like I have, I have a lamp that I just bought from Walmart, and you shine it down on the camera, and you shine it down on you, and it makes the uh, camera more vibrant and uh, just better to use because you don't want to have like very dark video or um, always rely on doing it outside in the sunlight because sometimes when you do it on the sunlight, it can be so bright that your camera gets washed out, and that's not great to look at either. So in the end. And in the end, I want to say this, Do you? what should you buy? If you're very into getting really high quality cameras, I would really look at a Canon DSLR because they're, they're a lot cheaper than, than a uh, high-end camera, like a camcorder. But it depends what you're trying to do. If you're trying to make legit films or you're just vlogging. If you're vlogging, you can pick one of these up. It's a Canon, Vic, or it's a Canon PowerShot a2200 is a 14.1 megapixel camera. It shoots in at 720p at 30 frames per second. Uh, it does 640 at 30 frames per second and it does 320 at uh, 60 frames per second. So you can get a lot of uh, different um, quality of video off of this camera. It just depends what you're looking for. If you're just in the vlogging where you're walking around like CTFXC or Shea Carl like this, holding it in front of your face like this, I'll show you like this, then I would recommend one of these. But if you're really into getting uh, and start filmmaking, I would recommend picking up a Canon Vixia uh, camcorder or pick up a Canon DSLR because DSLRs, to me, are the highest form of video quality you can get without spending like a couple thousand bucks because you can get a Canon DSLR like the uh, Canon T T2i for under... 600 bucks now you can get the Panasonic GH2 which is very very uh, high good quality it's like that cinematic look but in the end let me know in the comments below what do you guys think matters the most is it the quality of the video 
or is it the content of the video? I honestly think the content is more important than just having 1080p. Yes, you can have the best video quality, but if your video sucks, no one's going to watch it. So, um, with that said, like I always say, guys, rate, even if you hate, comment, subscribe.